inside the house next door. Um, there's actually, it's not just a dirt, there's a decent amount of grass, but it's not mowed. And you have to keep lawn mowed for it to grow the thickness, right? Now a lot of tenants don't mow. Some of them do. I put it in all my contracts that they have to mow. And you know, they sort of do and they sort of don't. Don't keep it as nice as I keep my house, but it works. If you wanted to do anything over here, I would probably just have this bush trimmed so that this area seemed like a place you could put a little barbecue or a dinner table. And then if I wanted to go crazier down here, I might make a path that had gravel in it or something called DG, decomposed granite, which is granite um, mushed into really small pieces. I use it a lot here and then put flagstones in the middle of it, which just makes it an area where people could walk farther out here. That's, you know, something you don't need to do, but it would be an upgrade or something for later in time. All right, I'm heading to the front. I didn't have an appointment, but the agent told me she was here, but she probably has another appointment that's coming. All right, this is the front of the house. This gate here is a little bit newer than the backyard fence. It works fine. Front yard, front door where I was telling you, even if I didn't do an outdoor paint, I would do this. This door here, if you painted it a brighter, more hip, fun color would be really nice. Cute welcome mat, nice little plant. Um, really revives the front door area. Front of the house. The beds actually have a lot of plants in them, but they aren't tended. There is a bed here with this railroad tie, uh, not a railroad tie, landscaping timber in front of it. So same thing here if you wanted to. I would leave some of these plants and I would pull other ones and I would maybe, you know, add something with a little more structure to it. Does that have to happen? It doesn't. Could you do it? You could. A lot of these are probably drought tolerant plants. That certainly is. That's a rosemary plant over here. But I don't think they'd be here looking this good if they weren't drought tolerant. Uh, over here is the front with the garage. The garage is two different colors. Not sure why. I did just go inside the garage and open and close it. And it opened and closed very nice. There's no overhead machine, you know, no garage door opener. The other house on Whitebrush has that, but it's common not to have it. I um, don't know why it's two colors, but it worked well. Little bit of, it's so sunny I can't quite tell where my finger is, but right here again some trim that has gotten rot from bounce up water. It's a little bit more of a roof look. Here's your first graying. I don't know if you can see it, but Right here at the bottom corner, a little bit along the bottom ledge, you can see some graying of those shingles. And that is an age sign where some of the granules are wearing off. Now let's take a look at the driveway. The driveway actually looks surprisingly good. Austin has a lot of soft and movable soil, but I'm not seeing particular signs of trouble in this property or in the other one. Um, no cracks in this driveway. There's one. That's maybe the biggest one. I don't know if you can see it. It's not the kind of crack people worry much about. There's another one.